Blocks CAD skills. Parametric designs using loops. In this video, we're going to explore how parametric designs using a loop can make your projects more flexible and the code easier to manage. Our final design in this tutorial will be a row of cylinders on a backplate where the number of cylinders, the spacing, and the size of the backplate itself can all be defined with loops and variables. First, to make our row of cylinders, we'll grab a loop block from the Loops menu category. For this loop, we'll start by assigning the variable i values from 1 to 5, counting by 1s. In order to space out our cylinders so they're not rendered one on top of the other, we'll need to get a translate block and put it inside the loop like this. Now we can get a cylinder block and nest that inside the translate block. To make it a little smaller, let's change the radii of this shape from 10 millimeters to 4. To space out the cylinders on the x-axis so they're drawn in a nice line, we'll assign the value for x by using an arithmetic block. Let's grab the loop variable i and place it in the first term, which in our current setup will count up from 1 to 5 by 1s. And then to set the gap between shapes, we'll use a multiplication operation and a number block from the math menu to determine how far apart each cylinder will be from each other. Let's start with 10 millimeters. Place that expression into the x value of the translate block. Render, and we can verify that we have a line of five cylinders, each with their centers 10 millimeters apart. Now we can create some parameters for our line. First, let's get a new variable setter block. Click the drop down arrow, select new variable, and let's name this number of cylinders. Add a number block and assign the number of cylinders to five. Next, get a number of cylinders value block and put it into our loop like this. We'll replace the current fixed value of 5 with this new value block. Now our index variable will count from 1 to the value in our number of cylinders variable. Render, and we still have a line of 5 cylinders. Change the value to 4, and now our line is 4 cylinders long. Now, let's also create a parameter to set the spacing of the cylinders. Get another variable setter block, select new variable, and let's name it spacing. Get a number block, and set the spacing value to 10 millimeters. We'll find the spacing variable that we just created under the variable menu tab. Drag it out. And note that this variable replaces the 10 millimeter fixed value that we previously used to help set our spacing. Hit render, and as you might have expected, nothing changes because we currently have the spacing variable set to a value of 10 millimeters, the same as the fixed value we just replaced. Now, to check that everything is working as we'd like, we can change the value of the spacing variable to change how far apart our cylinders are. Let's increase this value from 10 millimeters to 15 and render. The centers of our cylinders are 15 millimeters apart. Now let's add a backplate. Bring out a cube block and we'll need to change the size so it can sit beneath all of the cylinders. Let's make it thin and flat in the Z direction and taller in the Y direction. Render and let's see what we have. Well, as you can see, we'll need to make several adjustments in order to have this shape sit evenly under all of our cylinders. First, we'll translate it so we have the same amount of coverage on both sides of our row. Minus 10 on the y-axis should slide it just right. Render, and we're good. Now, let's consider how long our backplate should be on the x-axis. That will depend on how many cylinders we have and how far apart they are. Let's think about this as a math expression. 
To simplify this, let's start with one cylinder with the spacing at 10 millimeters. Render, and we can see that our backplate would need to be 20 millimeters long on the x axis to sit evenly beneath this one shape. Change to two cylinders, render, and we can see that our backplate would now need to be 30 millimeters long. In order to create a more generalizable expression that will tell us how long our backplate needs to be given any number of cylinders, let's get a math block and experiment. As you can imagine, we'll first need to know the number of cylinders we have, and then let's see what happens if we multiply that value by the spacing. Put this block into the x value for our cube and render. Well, the back plate looks like it's a little bit too short. That's because we need to extend the cube out both before and after the row of cylinders. To do this, let's see what happens if we change the expression to number of cylinders plus one times spacing. Render, and that looks more like it. Now to check the design. Does the backplate fit correctly if we increase the number of cylinders to 3? Yes, it does. How about to 4 cylinders? Still looks good. Now, try changing the spacing of the cylinders from 10 to 15 millimeters. Render, and notice that the backplate grows as the spacing of the cylinders increases. Change the spacing to 5, render, and something a little odd happens. The backplate looks right, but 5 millimeters isn't wide enough for each of the individual shapes to have its own space, which, depending on your design needs, may be exactly what you're looking for. Let's bring the spacing back to 10 millimeters so we can see a design where each shape has enough space to sit on its own. This is a nice example of how we can use a loop to create a row of cylinders where the number and spacing of objects is defined by parameters and a backplate whose length is also defined by variables. You can watch this skills video again, or to practice what you've just learned, launch BlocksCAD and start building.